Okay? So in other words, brothers and sisters, you know, <clears throat> a lot of people, they have different opinions about Jesus. But, you know, mahalaga yung revelation of who Jesus Christ really is. Okay, now. So, <clears throat> let's go on. Colossians chapter 2. Now, verse 9. For in Him, in Christ. Again, in Christ. Sabi po natin, in Christ. Now, notice here. For in Christ, in Him, dwelleth how many? I can hear you. All the fullness of the Godhead bodily. In Christ dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead. The Godhead refers to who? The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. All the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Now verse 10. And you are complete in Him. Wow. Are you in Christ Jesus? The Bible says you are complete in Christ. Glory to God. Now, in Christ would refer to who you are in the spirit. You are a spirit being. Now, he is not referring to our physical body. Okay? Nung tayo na born again, it was not our body that got born again. It's not, our even, even, it's not even our soul. Mind, will, and emotion. Na naipang muli, it is uh, the spirit man that got born again. You know, God, uh, rather, Jesus Christ told Nicodemus in John chapter 3, you know what? He that is born of the flesh is flesh. But he which is born of the Spirit is Spirit. Makita natin na in what he said to Nicodemus, now Jesus Christ clearly distinguished the difference between the Spirit and the flesh. You are a Spirit being. You are not just a flesh. You are a Spirit being. You have a soul and you live in a physical body. You better understand who you are. Not just after the flesh. You, 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 you need to understand who you are. In Christ, in the Spirit. Because that's the real you. Amen? Unless you see yourself in Christ, you will never fully understand who you are. The only understanding that you may have about yourself is who you are after the flesh. Maybe, you know, you can, you can understand yourself, you know, based on your uh, uh, profession. Okay? Based on the place that you, that, that, that you came from or based on your family origin. Okay? But you need to understand who you really are. Who you really are is who you are in Christ, in the spirit man. Amen? Okay, so the Bible says you are complete in Him. So in other words, in Him, in the spirit, you are complete. In the spirit, God made you righteous. You were made the righteousness of God in Him. And you are not 25 righteous. If you are just 25% righteous, then you are not complete in Him. You are not 35% righteous and the more you do good works then probably the 25% would increase to 35%. Then the more good works you do as Christian, uh, as Christian then, then the 35% would probably increase to 50%. Okay? No, no, no. The moment you got born again, the day you got born again, the day you received Jesus Christ into your life, God made you righteous. You become the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus and the righteousness of God is not 25% righteousness. It is not 35% righteousness. It is not even 99.9% righteousness. It is 100% righteousness. Now listen to this. Are you a believer? You are as much righteous as Jesus Christ is. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You are as much righteous. You have the same righteousness. You have the same God kind of life. There's only one God kind of life. There's only one God kind of righteousness. There's only one God kind of faith. And you have all those deposited in your spirit, man. You are complete in Him. Okay? You are complete in Christ. You know, everything that we receive on the inside of us, you know, Lahat ng yun ay kompleto na. In other words, you know, God deposited in your spirit man everything that you need and everything that you will ever need. All the faith that you need. God deposited on the inside. You know, as I say, you know, your problem is not lack of faith. You have faith. You have the God kind of faith. The problem of a lot of Christians is not lack of faith, but lack of knowledge. Okay? That's why, you know, again, Paul told Pailimon in Pailimon verse 6. Sa ano sabi po ni, ni, ni Paul? Pailimon verse 6. You know what? I pray that the communication of your faith. So, meron silang pananapataya. 
ang prayer niya ay, I pray that the communication of your faith may become, may become effectual, may become effective, may become operative by the what? By the acknowledging of every good thing that is in you in Christ Jesus. That's the problem of a lot of Christians. They fail to acknowledge every good thing that is in them in Christ Jesus. Lack of knowledge. Amen? Not lack of faith. Don't ever say, well, siguro problema ko, kulang ako sa pananampalataya. Siguro ang problema ko, maliit ang aking pananampalataya. Now, ganyan din po inaakala po mga disciples ni Jesus Christ. They thought, you know, nakulang sila sa pananampalataya. That's why one time, you know, they, they asked, Lord, increase our faith. Increase our faith. Na ano po naging tugon po ni Jesus Christ? How did He respond? Now Jesus Christ said, you know what? You don't have faith problem. Okay, if you have faith, you know, if you have faith, you know, even as a grain of a mustard seed, even if your faith is so small, it is as small as a mustard seed, you can say unto the sycamore tree, be plucked out, you know, and be removed. Into the sea, and it will obey you. Okay? You have faith. Say, I have faith. I have faith. So you have faith in your heart. Okay? All you need to do is to acknowledge every good thing that is in you. Yung po nagkukulang maraming kristyano, they fail to acknowledge. If they fail to acknowledge, ang ibig sabihin lack of knowledge. That's why God said, my, you know what? My people are being destroyed. Not the unbelievers in the world. He said, my own people, God's own people. He said, my people are being destroyed because of lack of knowledge. Thank God we have the knowledge of the Word. Amen? Thank God we have the Holy Spirit as our teacher. That's why we put so much, so much emphasis on the teaching of the Word. Because everything that you need, God only deposited on the inside of you. Okay? What we need to do is to acknowledge them. And we will fail to acknowledge them without the knowledge of the Word. Okay, now let's go on. Now, <clears throat> we're still here in Colossians chapter 2, right? Colossians chapter 2. <clears throat> for in, verse 10, For you are complete in Him, which is the head of all principality and power, in whom also you are circumcised with the circumcision made without hands, in putting up the body of the sins of the first by the circumcision of Christ. Now he's now talking, he's now speaking by revelation. It's not just, you know, uh, uh, revealed to Paul after the place. Now verse 12, buried with him in baptism, wherein also you are risen with him through the faith of the operation of God, who has raised him from the dead. Okay? So in other words, buried with him in baptism. And, and verse 13, And you being dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh, has He made alive together with Him. Notice that. You were made alive together with Him. Having forgiven you all, not some, all trespasses, blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to the cross. You know what? Paul had the revelation from God. What really happened from the cross to the throne. Ano ba talaga nangyari while Jesus Christ was there being crucified on the cross? Go with me again to the book of Galatians chapter 2 verse 20. It says there, Paul said, I have been crucified with Christ. He said, I have been crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ lives in me.